Well, the number of refugees coming to Buffalo continues to grow. Just this year, the city says more than 1,000 have been resettled here, and the growth has rejuvenated areas such as the west side. But now resettlement agencies are struggling to find housing. News Force Callan Gray has the details on a special assignment. Callan? Don, Jackie, resettlement agencies have to follow strict guidelines from the federal government when they're picking housing, and they have a limited budget. This all narrows down what they can choose from. An international institute tells me now they are being priced out of some neighborhoods. Breshna and her family have settled in here in Buffalo's Black Rock neighborhood. She was born in Iran and then lived in Afghanistan and Russia before arriving here as a refugee. Hi, Breshna. How are you? How are you? Now, for about the last five years, they've been renting from Mike Maywalt. In this neighborhood, there's a high concentration of Iraqi families, Burma, Nepal, and more recently, Afghanistan. And Syria. Maywald says 75% of his 200 apartments are occupied by refugees. He started buying properties in this neighborhood 10 years ago and was approached by a resettlement agency. They found me pretty quickly. It was one of the first properties that I purchased over here. In the beginning, it was uh, the agency's Journey's End International Institute that would come to me with these clients. Then I'm accommodating the clients. And they come in directly and talk about a brother or a cousin or some parents. Can you help them? Now he has a waiting list. If I had 10 more multifamily income properties in this neighborhood, I'd fill every one of them. The, the demand is very, very strong for additional refugee families to, to come and be with their uh, folks from their own country. City officials tell us there are now about 20,000 refugees living in Buffalo, and resettlement agencies are feeling the pressure. We need more good quality housing stock, and it's not necessarily available for an affordable price in the locations that we're looking. The federal government gives nine national resettlement agencies $2,025 per refugee to help the newcomers during their first 30 to 90 days in the United States. But Denise Behag with International Institute of Buffalo says after administrative costs are taken out, only about 925 to 1,125 is actually available for them to use for rent, the security deposit, furniture, clothing, and other necessities. If you look back five years ago, six years ago, Ago, it was relatively inexpensive to rent a home in Buffalo. There were a lot of houses, there were a lot of doubles, uppers and lowers, and we could rent maybe a two-bedroom apartment for $500. And that is almost unheard of now. The government has really not given that much of an increase. There have been small increases over the years to the RMP program, but really not in keeping with what the program demands. Rising rent is also creating challenges for another resettlement agency, Catholic Charities, and both agencies tell us more people are interested in moving into international neighborhoods. We have landlords that used to rent to us quite often and now are being very honest with us and saying we love renting to refugees, but the truth is we could rent those apartments for an increased rent. The agencies also face other limitations. The homes need to be near public transportation and a grocery store, and they only have about two weeks to find housing before the family arrives. International Institute has started expanding its housing search to the east side in the Broadway Fillmore area and Schiller Park, where BHAG says there is more stock available, even if it's not that much cheaper. Assistant Professor of Architecture at UB, Erkin Ozai, has taken an interest in refugee housing. He asked his students to come up with a solution on the east side. It is still an affordable part of the city, and it, it is also an emerging neighborhood in terms of uh, immigrant uh, populations moving there and perhaps also for resettlement. Um, and at the same time, uh, it is a part of the city that has a long and deep uh, multicultural history and it actually has great urban assets. He says they looked at vacant properties, keeping in mind the proximity to public transportation, food, education, and religious services. They looked at how these buildings could be developed for mixed-use refugee housing. Ozai says there could be an opportunity for developers to work with resettlement agencies to apply for state or preservation grants to help create affordable housing. Another idea, bringing in pre-built houses.
There's actually a more a larger sort of affordable housing need uh, in the city and uh, we thought that this actually could be a tool to perhaps uh, facilitate that. He tells us this builds off of the good work already being done in Buffalo. We actually were excited by the idea of uh, our city, you know, the, our neighborly city, having lots of sort of underserved areas and battle districts uh, now being uh, perhaps a source of hope for people who have gone through traumatic experiences. He hopes these options will help developers, resettlement agencies and nonprofits in their work towards a larger plan for resettlement. International Institute says they are looking for landlords willing to rent to refugees. Now we have more information on the safety requirements property owners have to follow and how to start the process of renting to new Americans under the Founded on 4 tab on WYVB.com. Reporting live, Kellen Gray, News 4 at 6.